All right, coming to you from uh, central Wisconsin. Today we're at a, uh, a prairie chicken management area and uh, just south of Stevens Point, Wisconsin called Buena Vista. And uh, this is it's a pretty big uh, wildlife refuge. They've got a whole prairie chicken management program going on down here. There's, of course, no, no prairie chicken hunting season in Wisconsin, but um, this area has got, you know, from what I read, it's got a, a pretty good population of birds, and Sir and I just put in uh, maybe about six miles on three different walks, six and a half miles, and uh, we were able to find five chickens. So the first ones we were, uh, you know, we were headed uh, um, with the wind, of course, naturally, and the wind's blowing 20 to 30 today. So not great conditions, and uh, sort of kind of ran over those birds. One first bird, and then two more about 500 yards in. He had a brief point, and then uh, they flushed pretty wild. Uh, then we were able to move another one, and we finally uh, came to another spot, and then I pointed him into the wind this time. And uh, 10 minutes in, he slammed on point. And of course, I missed the video shot. Uh, the bird only held for maybe three seconds um, it was it was pretty wide open and uh, with this wind uh, you know birds are always jumpy so it was cool to see our first prairie chickens today i had never seen one before i've only watched guys hunt them uh, i've never seen one in person um, you know when they fly they're a little bit unique you can kind of tell the the shape of the wing is a little bit different than like a hen pheasant or they don't have that same sound a sharp tail makes either so pretty neat bird. The last one we saw seemed like a, a good sized bird and uh, came out of some brush. We found quite a few droppings and some heavier cover and uh, so you can kind of see where they roost and where they're out feeding during the day and uh, so pretty neat experience. Uh, it's about a two and a half hour drive from where we live so uh, a day trip uh, is in order today and um, we this is basically the last weekend you can do it before the nesting season. April 15th marks that. So no dogs allowed on these properties are running on, on wild birds after that between uh, April 15th and I think, is it July 31st maybe? Or June 30th, I don't remember. Um, we don't usually run on too many birds in late summer anyway. We wait till about August or September, but uh, we might come up back up here. It was a, it was a pretty good time. Lots of, lots of open prairie, quite a few other guys here running dogs so I can tell it's a it's a pretty popular place to come. Saw quite a few dog trailers this morning when we got here. Um, everyone's kind of thinned out now but uh, a few people doing what we're doing so the last Sunday that you can so um, I got some pretty good footage so sorry did well. He's a little out of shape. We've been uh, we've been taking it easy for the last couple months really it's just been just a never-ending winter and uh, waiting for spring to come. It kind of finally showed up uh, today, but it was snowing Friday. Snowed a little bit Friday night, so here we are. We finally got some 50 degree weather, but um, looking forward to the season coming up and uh, doing some more training, so we'll see you later.
there's the first chicken right there. See what they look like. There's another one. Oh, a couple more birds there. He's, uh, we got the wind at our backs here. Really, not great. 